Hello, I'm Ray Luna. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time watching. So on September 22nd, it was the autumn equinox. So with this information, I decided to do a fall pick a card so you can see what to expect for the fall months ahead. So for pile number one, we have the cat figurine. For pile number two, we have the owl figurine. And for pile number three, we have a wolf figurine. So you can pause the video and take your time to decide what pile and figurines calling out to you. And then head to the description to click on the correlating timestamp for your reading. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Your first cards are Page of Wands, the World, King of Pentacles, and the Moon. So with your first card, Page of Wands, I feel that in fall, you're going to be approaching things much more optimistically, um, much more with a level head, and you're going to have the energy and enthusiasm to take on whatever task or situations come your way in, in the fall months. Um, with this card as well, I feel that you maybe have a list of things you have to do, or there's a lot of like items, issues, or situations that you're going to be solving and completing in the fall months because um, the Page of Wands is right next to the world. The world signifies fulfillment, completion, and ending. So there's a lot of things you have to do I feel you're going to achieve and get done in fall. Or there's situations, um, they're just ending. Like you're going to you're gonna be able to let go of a bunch of little things. They're, they're not big issues, big problems, big situations. It's something small, but there's a lot of them. So like I said, it's like a list of things you have to do. You're going to achieve that in the fall months. And if there are situations where you can't work on them to solve, um, like an external situation, um, multiple situations, that's what it feels like. Um, I feel these are just naturally going to be resolved during the fall months. They're going to be put to an end and this is going to free up a lot of your time so you can focus on things you want to do and you're going to feel, um, like I said, like more enthusiastic, more optimistic because a lot of these situations that you don't control will be solved, but also your task list of things you have to work on and, and achieve, they will be, you will be able to complete them during the fall months. And then with the King of Pentacles and the Moon, with the King of Pentacles, I feel this also talks about you being more grounded and stable during the fall months. I feel you're going to be reflecting on what you want to achieve and what you have achieved. I think there could be some planning involved uh, in the fall months for you. Like you're going to be planning things out. You're going to be, maybe you're trying to tie up some loose ends during the fall and that's why I feel that sense of, you know, there's a list and there's so much to do or there's so many situations, but you are making the effort to tie all that up so you have a, a fresh slate so that when it is winter or spring, you can start working on other things you want to do. You can start putting your energy someplace else. But Again, with the King of Pentacles, you are going to be approaching things more stable, more level-headed, more practical. Um, maybe during the fall months, you are making comfort more with uncertainty. And we can see that with the moon. There's a lot that is unknown for you. And I think will continue to be unknown in the fall. But instead of 
um, freaking out or being fearful, you are just changing your mindset. You're being more optimistic, level-headed, and grounded on what to do. And I think, once again, I keep, I, I, with the page of wands, I keep seeing a list or like, there's a lot of things, like a lot of things, like a lot. <laughs> I can't exactly make out what it is, but it feels like there's a lot of something. But I feel like with this new approach or mental state you're having in the fall, you're going to go through all these items, situations, things, and sort them. You're going to com complete them so you can be more comfortable with uncertainty. And you're doing that by clearing things out, checking items off your list, you're preparing in the way that you can. So with any uncertainty in the fall months that is around you, you're going to be able to be more comfortable with it. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards to see what other information we can find out. Okay, and with these cards, we have passion and tranquility. So for the fall months ahead, you can be focused on finding out ways to work on your passions more, to find out what your passions are, and you could be planning and trying to find the time so that you are able to spend time on your hobbies, spend time on activities that let you feel passion, that let you feel um, the joy, love, and positive emotions when you're just doing something that you, you know, you love to do. With tranquility, I feel this can relate to trying to find ways to be more at peace. Um, this can also be related to the Page of Wands card because tranquility talks about uh, clearing out your space, making your space more comfortable for you, and that can mean getting rid of clutter, throwing things away, um, getting rid of items that have negative memories attached to them or negative associations related to them. So you could be clearing out tons of clutter and getting rid of it so you have a more peaceful and tranquil space you feel comfortable in. Or this card could also be telling you in the fall that your fall is going to be much more peaceful as these previous energies and situations are ending. And since you have more peace, uh, more time, you're going to be able to work on some of your passions more. And you're going to be able to do things you're more passionate this fall because of the clearing out of these old situations or the work you're doing that's making a more positive space for yourself. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards to see what else is coming for you. Okay, and so with the first card here, it is a woman. So during the fall months, a woman you haven't met yet, or if there is a woman in your life, like a mom, grandmother, a friend, who is, you know, constantly in your life, is very important in your life, um, there is a woman who will be very important to you in fall that could work with you, that could help you, or you can spend more time with in the fall. This card also can talk about um, approaching things in a more feminine way in the fall. So one example of that would be a, a more feminine approach versus a masculine approach would be being more open to receiving. Um, the feminine's more open to receiving than the masculine. Uh, the masculine might take quicker action or be more abrupt. So during the fall months, you're going to be taking more of a feminine approach. And again, I would watch out for um, a woman you haven't met yet or a woman in your life that's important to you. Uh, well, she will be significant to you in the fall months ahead. 
And with the other two cards, uh, the second one talks about receiving gifts and enjoying small, small pleasures. So it's possible the woman will give you a gift during a celebration or a holiday because, um, you know, during the fall months, there are a lot of celebrations and the third card is festival celebration. So it's possible someone, a, a woman that's significant to you will be giving you a gift during one of these celebrations, which would make sense because, you know, with fall, there's, uh, you know, there's Thanksgiving, there's Christmas, um, there's, there's Hanukkah during this time. There's all different types of holidays. During this time, you might receive a gift. So I think it would make sense. But with the second card, it talks about, you know, receiving gifts, but also enjoying small, small things, like enjoying small talk, enjoying eating food, like just simple food, um, enjoying just sitting down, enjoying going outside, just enjoying simple little things during the fall. I think this is something that will probably help ground you because I talked about earlier with the other cards, you're kind of approaching things in a more grounded mindset. So this could be a result of your efforts. Um, you could be going out of your way to enjoy the little things and trying to be, you know, not as grand or over the top. You're, you're really trying to be humble, but it's in a good way. You're trying to be humble and just, and just enjoy life as it is and accept things the way they are so you can have more joy. And with the third card, again, um, talking about festivals, I think this attitude could relate to um, any holidays coming up for you in the fall months. Um, you and your family or your friends could do these celebrations in a more humble way and a less materialistic way. You guys could um, enjoy each other's company more, um, not make it about as much about material things. You're just enjoying each other's company. And if you exchange gifts, um, it could just be food as a gift. Or if you exchange gifts, they could be more um, sentimental in value, not as materialistic. So I'm going to put down some more cards for you so we can find out some more information. Okay, and with these cards, you have clean it up, flexible, and all that glitter. So I think it's funny how clean it up and all that glitters appears because it's just a reflection of what I already said with the other cards. So with clean it up, yeah, there, there's definitely something um, you're getting rid of, you're throwing away. Um, once again, the page of wands, I feel like something's stacked up. There's a list. There's a lot of something. So I think with this clean it up card, you understand this and you know this. And this fall, you're taking initiative to clear out things you don't need. You're throwing things away, like physical things. But also, it could also mean the emotional side as well. You could be cleaning up things that are stacked up mentally that aren't serving you anymore. You're taking the approach to get rid of everything that's not working emotionally and physically. And then with flexible, it makes me think of uh, the feminine approach message. If something's not going your way, um, you're not going to, you're not going to harm yourself trying to make it go the way you want. You're going to be open minded. You're going to be more enthusiastic and you're going to go with the flow but you're not going to compromise on what you want. You're just not going to fight as hard when something doesn't go your way. But this approach is healthy for you and it will work out because it's like whatever isn't working, it doesn't mean it never will. You're just, you're not upsetting yourself as much, you know? Like if something's not working for you, you're not going to get as angry you're not going to get as upset because you're telling yourself, like, I know it will work eventually. I know I can handle it. And you're, you're being more 
assured of yourself in the fall months. And with all that glitters, this card talks about not focusing on materialism. And uh, with the other cards, I talked about that, like, maybe you or your family and if, you know, the holiday is coming up, not focusing on materi materialism as much. So I think during the fall, you're going to be learning or you're going to be focusing on um, being more humble, not caring, caring about um, materialistic items. You're going to be focusing on experiences, things you can learn, or the the things you will do. They're they're more down to earth, more grounded. Um, like something this makes me think of in relation to fall. You know, a lot of people will go apple picking or do stuff outside before it's you know it's too too cold to go out. So I feel like you're going to be focusing on activities you can do with your friends, your family, or do by yourself that make you feel more grounded, more humble. Um, you're not focusing on <laughs> like getting like a designer watch or like jewelry, stuff like that. You're focusing on humble stuff in the fall. And I think this will probably improve your mental health in the fall because you're going to be seeing through illusions that a lot of people might give into during the fall months. So I'm going to put down your animal guide cards to see which ones may be watching out for you in the fall. Okay, and for your animal guide cards, you have Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery, and then you have Dolphin Spirit, This and That are True. So you pick the cat figurine, you also have um, bobcat spirit. So I think cats will be significant for you during the fall months. Um, you could also spend time with your cat or maybe if you're thinking about adopting a cat in the fall, that would be good for you. I feel um, cats kind of have a mysterious energy about them, but they're also kind of, you know, laid back and chill. So I feel during fall, it seems you're kind of taking that approach more being a little bit laid back. Um, when I think of cats, I think about how they nap for a long time. They sleep a lot of the day. So it's like with you, you also can, you know, nap, sleep, and not be worrying about all this stuff. And the stuff that you are worried about, you're clearing out. You're becoming more like a cat. <laughs> you're having a more cat-like approach to life and accepting um, you're not going to know everything, and even if you don't know everything, you're not going to let it kill you. You're you're just going to take things as they are and go with the flow of it. And with dolphin spirit, I feel dolphins are very fun and energetic. So it's like, I feel you're going to feel a little bit more free in the fall months. Um, you're going to feel a little bit more joyous, and I think you're going to accept that um, you can't know everything. Um, sometimes life is polarizing because the message of this card is this and that are true. So I think during the fall months, you're going to be thinking a lot about life. Um, you're going to understand that while you're curious and want to know the reasons why, um, you can't always know. And we see that with both these cards. Life is a mystery and this or that and this and that are true. You're going to be asking why, but accepting you can't always know. And instead of letting that hinder you and blocking you, you're going to let it make you feel more free. You're going to let it make you feel more accepting of things and not as reactionary and you're just going to be chill and you're going to go with the flow and try to have fun with it and trying not to worry or, you know, thinking about all this other stuff. You're just going to accept it and live your life the best way you can during these fall months. So that was your fall reading. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. 
or what parts of the reading resonated with you. And I'll see you in another reading. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. For your cards, you have Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, The Lovers, and The Hierophant. So with the first card, I feel you're going to have more energy and you're going to feel recharged during the fall months to overcome any challenges or obstacles that are in the way of your goals. I feel the energy is picking up for you again. And an example of this is I feel during the summer months, things might slow down. Um, people are on vacation, kids are out of school. And then with the fall months, school's back in session, workloads might increase. Um, people are preparing to do more work before the break at the end of the year. So I feel you're now moving into the fall months where things are picking up for you again. And with the Three of Pentacles and the Lovers, I feel you're going to have more chances to work on relationships during the fall months. You're going to meet more people. You're going to collaborate with more people at work or school with the Three of Pentacles. And there seems to be uh, more communication um, with other people. That is improving for you and going to increase during the fall months. And with the lovers and the hierophant, for some of you, I feel you could be attending a wedding if you yourself are not getting married. Um, this combination, the lovers and the hierophant, often signifies marriage. So I feel some someone you know is going to get married if you're not getting married, or it could be your own wedding, your own marriage. It could even be getting engaged or knowing someone or seeing someone propose to someone. It could even be during the fall months you'll meet someone you will marry. And I also can see an increase of making the correct choices, making choices that will pay off for you in the future. Um, I also can see with the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant, some of you going back to school or some of you working on increasing your knowledge, uh, working on getting a certification or diploma of some kind, working towards getting documentation that proves that you did work, you studied, you put your effort in. But overall, I just see an increase of energy picking up, and this will affect your social relationships, like they will pick up, you'll be more social, and I also can see the potential of a love relationship leveling up, or the chance to meet someone you could eventually marry or be with. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards for you. Okay, and you have generosity and persistence. So in the fall months, I feel you could be focused on doing charity work. And I think that's another message to add to the previous card, the Hierophant. Um, sometimes when I think of the Hierophant, I think of religious institution so it's possible with a generosity card you could be working with a church or a religious organization that helps with charity i feel you also could do some type of donation or working with other types of organizations it doesn't have to be religious i just think there's a high chance it could be with that card appearing you could work with animal shelters, you could work with food banks, um, you could also just work with any type of organization that's trying to um, give money or goods to people who are less fortunate than you. I think 
you're going to be focused on doing some type of charity work in the fall. And with persistence, I feel you're going to have the energy to overcome whatever comes your way in the fall um, with the Knight of Swords. As I said previously with that card, um, you it signifies you will overcome challenges and obstacles, but it indicates there are challenges and obstacles coming your way in the fall, which is why you have this persistence card appearing. It is saying to keep putting effort in, keep trying, hold your ground, and eventually things will fall into place and you will find success. <laughs> um, I think doing the charity work or being more generous can kind of help you feel more uplifted while you're experiencing these challenges during the fall months. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards for you. Okay, so with your first card, it looks to be um, a kite that was let go of. So you no longer have control over it anymore. Um, this card can mean needing to focus and concentrate during the fall months. Um, needing to not pay attention to end results, but the process as a whole. So while you are working and living your day-to-day -day in the fall months, don't worry so much about the end result. Focus on the process. Focus on the steps you are taking to get to that end, but don't heavily focus on the end and set yourself up with this high expectation because if you are doing these steps and you feel you're not doing them sufficiently enough, you might disappoint yourself when you aren't doing a bad job. You're just, you're not really focusing on the details. You're thinking of the big picture too much. You want to focus on the details of your work before you're already thinking of the end result. You need to focus on the smaller parts, the smaller details that make up the bigger picture in the fall so that you eventually can work to an end result that is what you desire and what you want to achieve. This card can indicate needing to be patient when waiting for waiting for a message, um, waiting to receive news. So a lot of your work this month, as I said, you'll make progress, but there might be some challenges and obstacles. So maybe the challenge or obstacle is that you're going to need to be a little bit patient. You're going to need to wait a little bit longer than you thought, but you can still make progress. Just be aware that it might take a little longer. And with this next card, it is a boat in the rain um, in the picture. The meaning of this card can mean even if you are ready to go ahead with something, it might not be the best time. So you could have plans and goals you want to work on, but one of the obstacles is, as I previously, previously already said, needing to be patient or wait a little longer. So one of the reasons why this could be happening is because if you are being delayed, it can be uh, a divine timing type of situation. Um, you might be delayed because later on, when you want to accomplish this task or goal, you're going to have better, better results because it was delayed. It will make it more so you will be in the right place at, in the right time but at a later date that is meant to happen so you can have a more favorable result later on and you kind of have to wait um as you can see in the picture with the rain you want to go forward but you need it to be more of a clear sunny day instead of a rainy stormy day that would delay you when you want to take an action right so with this card it's saying you need to be patient for the storm to clear up or the obstacle of waiting and needing to be patient to pass so you can take action further 
then with this last card, it shows a man with a bow and arrow trying to hit the target, right? So I feel this once again talks about concentration and need to focus. Focus on the details of all your tasks, of everything you want to accomplish in the fall, because while you are delayed now, this is setting you up so later on you will be able to shoot your bow and arrow, you will be able to hit the target, but you need to focus on the details as a form of practice before you're going to complete everything, before you're able to even launch that arrow towards your target. It's being, it feels like delayed. Something you want to focus on is delayed in the fall months, even though the energy is picking up, which is kind of weird. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what that could be, but uh, this card also talks about competi competition. You are working more and collaborating more and having more social social ties and relationships in the fall. So it could be as you're collaborating more, you'll be competing with the people you're interacting with and maybe to win over these people or beat them, you will need to be focused on, you know, the people you're competing with. Who are they? What are they working on? What are they thinking? What might they do? What might not they do? I feel you're going to have to focus on little details about the people and situations around you. So when the opportunity does open up, you're going to be ready to move forward. This is part of the obstacle. Um, energy's moving forward and picking up, but there's parts of the situation that will be slowed down and delayed. So you can make preparation later on to move ahead. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards. Okay, so you have New Life, Thinker, and Unfinished Symphony. So this fall, everything you're doing, everything you're working on is all towards creating a new life. You're trying to create a new life in the fall by trying to plan and think logically with thinker. So you can create this new life. You can have a, you know, a new life, new beginnings, but you're going to have to be very strategic. You're going to have to do a lot, a, a lot of mental work in the fall. Um, with the previous cards, they all mentioned needing to focus and having your eye on the target. And so does thinker that this card also mentions that needing to think Anna analytically, logically, strategically. So I would focus uh, on planning during the fall. Um, I would focus on what you can think of mentally that will help you move forward. And I would also suggest, as it mentioned, challenges, challenges and obstacles in the fall, you're probably going to have to use your mental ability, your intelligence to overcome lots of these obstacles. Maybe you're going to have to think in a way that lets you find a creative solution to overcome a problem you have, and that will be your ticket out of it. And with Unfinished Symphony, I feel with this process of you trying to plan and move forward to, to a new life, trying to work on your goals, trying to overcome these challenges. You are being delayed, but it's it's part of, again, the divine timing. You're being delayed, but it's because there's something you still have to learn. There's some stuff you have to work on, uh, some unfinished business that you have to look over before you have this new life, before it fully develops and blossoms, you need to do a little bit more work. And that's why I think you have the messages of needing to focus, persistence, because obviously I think when you get these messages in a reading, it makes you happy and excited, but no one likes to hear, oh, you have to be patient. 
oh, you need to be persistent. You need to be stronger for a little longer. It's kind of annoying to hear that, right? But these messages are coming up not to bother you, but to comfort you that it is turning around. You just have to wait a little longer and there's some things you have to learn and work on before this good new life is coming during the fall months, but it is coming towards you. It's just saying to be aware of that. And I'm going to pull your animal spirit cards to see which animal spirits may be looking over you during the fall months. Okay, and with these cards, you have frog spirit, clear out the clutter, and seahorse spirit, watch and wait. So with frog spirit, um, group number one also got this message of clearing things out, getting rid of things that no longer work for you. So I think frog spirit is coming in to guide you and help you get rid of things that aren't working for you anymore during the fall months. So with your uh, progress and your plans you're wanting to work on, um, they might be delayed as we see with seahorse spirit, watch and wait. So you can clear out some mental clutter, physical clutter, that way, as um, the fall months are going by into, you know, winter months and then there's spring, it's letting you have more time to prepare you for when you actually can take action. Um, it's interesting because with your first card, I believe it was the Knight of Swords, there is energy picking up. So it's not like you're not supposed to be working on your goals or your progress. You are supposed to. It's just certain areas of that will be delayed. So you can know what areas you have to work on. They will be highlighted by some of, some of the progress being delayed. But that will point out to you what you should be working on what areas you need to improve so you're fully ready for it. It's just kind of interesting to me uh, because your reading has that, that mixed energy. There is that bit of progress and change. The energy's picking up, but and you're ready to take it on, but then there is a bit of delay. <laughs> and again, it's funny with um, the seahorse spirit we see as well, watch and wait. It's even it's saying the same thing, watch and wait. I think maybe there's something you have to learn. There's a detail you're going to need to find during the fall months, and you're get, getting an opportunity from the universe to do that. But don't think you can't work on things. You can't make progress. You can. Just be aware if something's delayed, it's part of the process, and try not to worry about it. So that was your fall ahead reading. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if the reading resonated with you, what parts of the reading resonated with you, and I'll see you in another reading. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. With your cards, you have Strength, Seven of Cups, the Chariot, and Death. So with the first card, Strength, and Seven of Cups, I feel in the fall months, you are going to be able to start trusting yourself, um, starting to be less confused when making decisions. Um, you're going to have to be more confident when making decisions because with the Seven of Cups, it often can be confusion, not being sure what to do, and that can be because you have many options being given to you, but you're not sure which one is the right one because there's so many, as you can see in the picture of the card. But with the strength card, I feel like you're learning to trust yourself and you're learning to be confident, you're learning to believe in yourself, 
when presented with difficult decisions in the fall. You're going to be able to trust yourself to make the right choice when you need to when you need to make a decision, right? So, an example of this could be you have multiple job offers and even though you're lucky enough to have multiple job offers, you might be confused which one's the right one. And you might be afraid to make a decision because even though you have options, you're afraid that you're going to choose an option that's just going to be bad or lock you into a position you don't want. And then you don't want to choose the wrong decision or, I mean, excuse me, the wrong choice. And you don't want to lose the other ones if they are better, right? So I feel like you're moving past this in the fall and you're going to make the right decisions based on your intuition based on believing yourself and you're going to have the strength to move forward and you know take that decision believe in your choice and move forward and i think it will have a good result because you have the chariot and death and the chariot is symbolizing you're someone with ambition, you're someone with drive, you're someone who's putting effort in and working towards your goals um, with, your own, with your own willpower. And with the death card, um, the death card can mean endings and changes, but I feel you're someone, if you see the death card, you're not worried about it because you want changes, you want this positive change, this movement forward. So things will change as the result of your actions and your hard work during the fall months. Um, you'll gain the strength to make the correct and right decisions for yourself, and that will result in you being able to move forward and have these changes come about as you're becoming more confident in yourself to take actions and just, you know, believe in yourself when you're doing that. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards to see what else is coming for you in the fall months. Okay, and with these cards, you have protection and peace. So you're going to be focused on how you can protect yourself in the fall months. Um, one of the ways I feel like you're going to be protecting yourself is by becoming more confident and not doubting yourself as much when you're making decisions. Um, I'm going to read the guidebook for this card. Usually these cards are pretty, I feel like, self-explanatory, but the message in it really resonates with the other part of your reading, so I'm going to read it for you. It says, This card wants you to know that you are protected. Your ideas and beliefs are sheltered and safe. You can move forward knowing that if you falter or fall, there is a soft place to land and if needed, a comfortable place to heal until you are ready to take flight once more. So I feel like that message makes a lot of sense with um, the strength card and the seven of cups together because it's telling you like you are protecting yourself by you know, you're trusting your ideas, you're trusting your beliefs, you're trusting yourself, that will help you move forward, right? Even if you make a mistake in judgment, you can always take another action to improve things again. And then with the peace card, I think this um, protection you're trying to give yourself is also going to give you peace because one of the ways you can give yourself peace is just by trusting yourself. If you're not going to worry or doubt yourself, I mean, you can't really not feel peaceful because you're already believing yourself, you're trusting yourself. Whatever decision you make, you're just going to you're going to believe it and not doubt it, you're not going to question it. But if you do all that other stuff, it's very easy to bring up anxiety. Um, and bring up all those negative emotions because it's natural when you think that way, it brews that emotion or those emotions up. So 
you're going to be focusing on trying to be more confident with your decisions and that will bring you peace. You're going to start um, not ruminating on your decisions or choices or things you say. You're just going to be focused on letting it go and even if you make a mistake, you're not going to be as harsh on yourself, which will bring you peace. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards for you. Okay, so for your first card, it shows to be some type of bug resting on the leaves of a flower. And what's interesting about this card is it's supposed to be representing after the rain. So with group number two, they got the card that comes before this one, which is um, there's the flowers that are in the rain, and then there's a boat that's empty. With this card, it talks about waiting till the rain's over before making a decision, waiting for the storm before you can go forward because it might not be the best time. But with the card you got, it's after that one. So with your card, it talks about the rain has stopped. You can make a decision now and you can take your decision and put it into action, which is funny with the messages of the other cards you got. Um, it talks about uh, easing up of difficult times. So during the fall, some of your difficulties will ease up. You'll have less problems. You'll have more time to strengthen yourself, like mentally, physically, having a little bit of a break so you can get more clarity with your life and the the action you want to make, the de decision you want to make, you're able to push that forward. And with the second card, this card's actually called the Grim Reaper. And it kind of makes me think of the death card as well that you got previously. Um, with this card, it's more uh, karmatic. It talks about the Grim Reaper judging people with his cane, um, sorting out uh, wicked people from good people, and letting them pass on depending on the judgment he gives them, whether they're good or bad, right? So with this card, it talks about the truth being revealed, um, your karmatic actions. If you are doing good actions or you're doing good bad actions, that will eventually be revealed. But in the case with your cards, I feel you have been doing good actions, so you should be getting good results. You have been working hard, so you should get a result that is fruitful and pays off for you. But I also can see this card as uh, a message of if people have harmed you, or have judged you and they are in the wrong, they're in the negative, I can kind of see this as a sign that those people will receive their karma back. They will be judged by the Grim Reaper in, in that sense. Like, if they were doing something negative to you or to harm you, they will receive that back in some type of way or receive judgment that lets it be known to other people. Like, hey, they, they did something wrong. I didn't do anything, I'm innocent, that type of thing. Um, it's more of like uh, karmatic um, justice will be brought to you, especially if, you know, you were acting in a way where you weren't harming people, you were doing the right thing. And the people who were doing the harmful things, they'll be caught, they'll be revealed, at least so other people can know about it. But... I also think it's a, a double message of the death card with change will come about and progress will be made. It, it's just in um, an end stage is a little bit longer, but this change will be brought about to you. And then with the last card, this card talks about having a feast and a celebration. Um, it talks about uh, having more time to just enjoy yourself and celebrate, which makes sense because with the fall months, there's all these different holidays. 
there's all these different gatherings and there will definitely be opportunities for you to do this. Um, I think with this card as well, it talks about um, being able to relax too without being too emotionally invested. So it's like trying not to let your emotions get the best of you, like not worrying, not doubting yourself, having that confidence and self-belief and just trying to enjoy uh, the moment, the, enjoy the celebration, enjoy the fun times coming your way in the fall to help you relax and rejuvenate yourself so you can be prepared for whatever work is coming your way. So I'm going to put down your next set of cards for you to get some more insight into what's coming for you in the fall. Okay, and with these cards, we have By the Book, Serendipity, and A Leg Up. So with the first card, By the Book, sometimes this card can mean needing to follow social rules, structures, um, certain cultural values, but... In your case, I think it's actually saying the opposite, that you shouldn't always do things by the book <laughs> and you shouldn't feel concerned um, about your choices to do things differently. Maybe um, one of the reasons why you had difficulty um, with confidence and making decisions on what to do next um, is because maybe what you're doing isn't following a set structure or it might be a little different in some type of way, but this card is reminding you that in the fall, whatever you choose, whatever you decide, if it's not by the book, it is fine and things will work out regardless. And that you shouldn't care about the judgment of other people because by not doing things by the book, as you see, you have a leg up card, you have the advantage and you can stand out. And a lot of times if you stand out, um, sometimes it can hurt you, but sometimes it can benefit you. In this case, I feel like it's going to benefit you. You're doing something different. You yourself, I feel like, um, you are unique, like as in, uh, your personality, your look, something about you or a lot about you is unique and different, but that is a good thing by not being, you know, a regular Joe Schmo. You are someone more unique, more different, more special. Like, it will help you stand out with what you're trying to do next in the fall. You're going to benefit by being different and you have the advantage of doing things differently. Like, a lot of people follow the rules and it doesn't pay off for them. So, you shouldn't be concerned about this. And having serendipity, this card means uh, things just working out for you. <laughs> um, you can have everything just kind of flow seamlessly, magically. Things just work out. This card is about being at the right place at the right time. Um, your hard work being met with luck and opportunities open opening up for you just right when you need them. Or maybe you think of something that you want and then it manifests into your reality. Like an example of that is like, you you need a new bag or something like that. You want something to carry carry items in, anything like that. And then you're thinking about that, not really caring about it, not putting too much thought into it. And then someone, maybe they have a bag they don't want and they see you, they, they see you and they're like, hey, do you want this item? And you're like, hey, I, I just thought of that item and I just received it now right after I thought about it. Um, sometimes that happens. So with serendipity, it's like your thoughts can kind of come into reality without trying. You can think of something, like I said, without a lot of detail, like, oh, I wish I had a bag to carry my stuff with and someone gives you one right after. Um, that type of thing will happen to you, uh, during the fall months. And another thing I want to mention about a leg up, um, a leg up to kind of mention some serendipity with uh, meeting people that can help you, like having the right connections. So I think you're going to be able to connect with people more in the fall who actually can help you and propel you forward with uh, your goals and ambitions. 
So I'm going to put down your spirit guide cards to see what animal spirits could be helping you out in the fall months ahead. Okay, so you got electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. And then you have porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mind. So with the first card, uh, any ideas you have during the fall months, you should try to take more action on. A lot of your ideas, I feel, as we've seen with the previous cards, you're afraid of maybe the judgment or afraid if they're the right ideas to take action on, but you should just start to take action and listen to your intuition before you take action to help guide you. But you're getting this energy and this jolt to do more for a reason. You're supposed to uh, move forward. You're supposed to make these dis decisions to move you forward into something new. And then with the porcupine spirit, this is asking you to not judge yourself so harshly, um, to have an open mind, have a more uh, childlike perception with whatever you're doing, trying to think about things more fresh, more innocently. And I feel that um, when you look at the picture, the porcupine has quills, it's like um, you don't have to poke yourself uh, with your own thoughts, right? Um, try to have thoughts that aren't as harsh towards yourself and that will protect you. So that was all the messages I had for you for your fall months ahead. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading. Feel free to comment if the reading resonated with you or what parts of the reading you felt resonated with you the most in the comments. And I'll see you in another reading. Bye.